This is the Sunday School lesson for August the 22nd in 2021, and the name of the story is Naboth's Vineyard. A vineyard is a place where you grow grapes, okay? Uh, my husband has a very small vineyard at the side of our house, and we make grape juice for the winter and sometimes grape jelly. But this guy had a big vineyard, probably as big as a garden with just grape vines, and he had got it from his father, who got it from his grandfather, who got it from his great-grandfather, and it was very important to him. The thing was that this vineyard was right next to the palace where Ahab lived. You know Ahab, that wicked king, and Jezebel, his wife? Well, Ahab came to him one day and said, Naboth, sell me your vineyard. And I will give you however much it costs, or else I will give you a better vineyard further away. I need your land in order to make myself a vegetable garden. Uh, it's just the perfect place for the king to have a vegetable garden. And I would like you to sell me your vineyard. Naboth said, I can't sell you my vineyard. It's my inheritance. It is it came down to me from my grandfather and my great-grandfather and my great-great-grandfather and my father. I, I can't sell something that belonged to them and meant so much to my people. I have to keep it for myself. So Naboth comes home, throws himself down in the bed. I didn't get what I wanted. And he was so sad. And Jezebel said, what's wrong? Why are you so sad, Naboth? Well, I wanted that, I wanted that vineyard to be my vegetable garden. And, and that Naboth won't sell me his, he won't sell it to me. He just won't. He just won't. I'm not even going to eat. I'm just going to lay here and, and throw a little temper tantrum. Do you guys ever get like that when you don't get what you want? Do you lay on the floor and kick? Or do you grumble and complain? Is it, well, why can't we have this for supper? I don't like what you made for supper. Do you do that too when you don't get your way? Well, that is what King Ahab was doing. He was not very happy that he didn't get what he wanted. Jezebel said, you're the king. You can have anything you want. She said, you get up and eat your supper, and I'll just get you that vineyard. So what she did, she was an evil queen, remember? She wrote letters to the people that were in charge of the town, and she said, have a feast. And when you have the feast, let Naboth sit up at the front of the table and put two worthless men on either side of him. And let the worthless men tell lies about Naboth. And everybody will believe the lies and then take Naboth out and stone him to death. You kill Naboth. So they did. They were listening to the queen. So they took Naboth out and they killed him. And then the queen said, all right, Ahab, you wanted that land for your vegetable garden. Naboth is dead. You can go take that vineyard. You can turn it into a vegetable garden. You can plant whatever you want there. Oh, he was so excited that he was getting just what he wanted. And so, since he was so excited, he went down and he said, I'll put my tomatoes here and I'll put my cucumbers here and I'll put my onions here and my chives. This is a marvelous thing. I can do this. And he was looking over the land and feeling so good about it. And God sent Elijah. You guys know Elijah. We've been talking about him all week at Bible school. God sent Elijah to talk to him. Elijah came down to, to, to King Ahab and said, King Ahab, what are you doing in Naboth's vineyard? Oh, it's, it's my vegetable garden now. And he says, this is what God says. Just like Naboth died, you're going to die too. And the dogs are going to lick up your blood because you did all these evil things. Now, when I was studying about this story, I was thinking that he broke a lot of the Ten Commandments. Let's think about the Ten Commandments and see which ones he broke, okay? Number one, 
You shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. He did that. He certainly, he certainly did not worship God. He should not make any idols. Remember, he had all of those idols and all of those prophets of Baal. He messed up on that one too. Third one, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. I don't see that in scripture where he did it. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor your father and mother. Number um, number five. Number six, you shall not kill. Did he kill anybody? Sure he did. His wife did. She killed Naboth, and there was no reason for her to kill him. How about um, you shall not commit adultery? He didn't break that one. How about you shall not steal? Did he steal the vineyard? He sure did. He stole it right off him and tried to turn it into a vegetable garden. You shall not lie and you shall not covet. Coveting. Coveting, that is what wanting what something, someone belongs to someone else. He wanted the vegetable garden. He wanted a vegetable garden so bad. That he wanted that land so much that he was willing to kill to get what he wanted. Let's pray. Dear Father God, help us to be the kind of people who keep the commandments and not break the commandments. Help us not to be like Ahab and Jezebel. We thank you, o Lord, for Elijah and for his testimony and for the great week we had at Bible school this week. In Jesus' name, amen.